Hi, I'm Sean with uh, Rifled Air Machining and today we're going to do a short video on how to install an aluminum FTP piston. The aluminum FTP piston is a better material for the use because it will dissipate heat. The older style Delrin pistons could melt away the front edge during heavy heavy use. The aluminum will not be subject to those limitations. Before you get started, it, it's handy to have a few things on hand. I find that when you're deburring something, it's helpful to have a number of wooden dowels with emery cloth spray glued around them and some wooden popsicle sticks or tongue depressors with emery cloth glued on them and a larger dowel with emery glued on it. Two wrenches, you will need a 9 16 and a 7 16 wrench. You will also need a dowel with a slot cut in it and a little piece of fuzzy rag in it. A little tub of molly paste is very very handy in this operation and you will need something to grease your o-ring with. I use a synthetic PTFE grease which I find to be very very good grease. Okay so let's get started. The most important part of this operation is deburr, deburr, deburr. Um, I'm assuming at this point you've already got your gun stripped down and the valve, the new valve that came with your kit is installed already and what we're going to do is just the piston part of the operation. The aluminum is a better material but it does have some limitations in that any burr, because this doesn't have the compressibility of the Delrin, any burr inside the tube will cut away at the aluminum until it cuts away sufficient to achieve a good solid bearing surface and reduce the point loads on the piston. And that will feel really crappy, especially on the outstroke. Because of the design of the arm, the handle is on an angle, so it causes a thrust load as the piston is going in and out. It's pushing down and pulling up on the piston. So on the in stroke, it's pushing down, and it pushes down against the solid body of the tube, and there won't be any problems on the in stroke. It's on the out stroke, it pulls up, and it bears against the sharp edges of this slot. So this is where it's very, very important to do a very thorough deburring job. And I've already spent about five minutes deburring this, so it's mostly good to go. I'm just going to go through the processes that I use to really do a thorough job at deburring. I find that a dowel that's just slightly smaller than the size of the tube with 150 emery glued on it is about as good a job as you can get. And I slide it right up in there. And you don't need to worry about damaging or scarring this tube because there's no pump work being done at this point. All of the pump work is being done down here. So the more we smooth this area, the better things are going to feel. So I remove the burr like this. And I spend probably five minutes doing this and I might have to change this emery once or twice. And do a really good job what I'm trying to create is a radius profile ultimately but at this moment I'm just removing the sharp corner burr. So after you've done that for a good five minutes like spend lots of time doing it because if you don't do it right now you gotta tear the whole gun apart and do it all over again. Then I find that switching to tongue depressors with emery glued on it is the best way to go and I just go back and forth and as I go back and forth I increase my angle in order to achieve the radius profile I'm looking for and I'll do both sides back and forth starting at a very low horizontal angle gradually lifting up my tongue depressor until it's vertical and I'll keep doing that for another five minutes until I have a very smooth radius profile inside that tube. Now, the one area that it's really important to spend a good deal of time on is this curve in the slot right here. On every stroke, the O-ring has to pass that edge. 
So if you spend a good deal of time deburring and softening this edge, your O-ring will last and last and last. And just raise it up as you go. Create a nice smooth radius profile. And spend a good few minutes here. The last thing I like to do after I'm all done my radiusing with my emery cloth is I like to use my Dremel tool with a, an abrasive impregnated rubber bit. Now these things do not cut at all. All they will do is polish. So it's a very handy tool to have. If you don't have a Dremel tool you like to work on air guns, get one. Here we go. I just stick it up in the slot. No need to worry about damaging this area of the tube. Okay, so now you need to clean the tube. And the, the best thing I find to clean the inside of tubes is a piece of rag wrapped around a dowel. And while you're putting it in, turn it in the same direction that you've wrapped it. And that will keep it tight on the stick. Once you get all the way to the bottom, turn it the opposite way you've wrapped it and that will cause it to expand. And then pull it back out and that will pull all the grit with it. You can see all the grit has come out. Turn your rag around so you start with a fresh clean edge. Wrap it up nice and tight. Back in the tube. Turning it the same way you wrapped it while you go in. And then turn it the opposite way. And pull it back out. and the inside of our tube should be nice and clean.